Karina Suikonen, Head of Private Equity at Ferry. Welcome to Super Return. Thank you for joining us. What would you say are the key topics and key things that are being talked about in the industry in Germany at the moment? I think that in, in Germany, the, the speaking especially about uh, buyout sector, the, the big, big um, uh, um, keyword for, for every LP has been the deal flow over the few years. So that is that is something that, that is, is, has been a challenge. The um, other other uh, big big impact matters have been, of course, IFMD and implementation of IMD in, in Germany. Um, I think that these are the, the big big issues in in the LPs' mind when thinking about the market. And this is a fantastic, unique opportunity to speak about those with the key players all here. It is. It is absolutely. I think that this is a this very good uh, opportunity to to get the market pulse for this happening in terms of thing in terms of markets in terms of investment opportunities in the markets, and also I think that the in terms of regulatory changes and and what's happening there, how it is impacting in the in the in the market. I think that that's something that we are going to hear also quite a lot uh, during today in in the conference. During your panel there, the the ever-present topic of middle stand and accessing these middle-sized family companies came up again. It's a recurring theme. What's the current situation there? I think that it is, it is a recurring theme and it will be for quite some time. Um, everyone um, pursues, uh, perceives the, the German market to have great potential and the, and the big question is that, that um, why is still, still the, the private equity not living its, it, to its full potential? And I think that that's, a, that's a largely uh, due, to the, due to the different mindset of, of, of German, German entrepreneurs. Um, these are often family-owned um, companies and, and they, they, um, uh, families want to continue to hold on to them. But at the same time, I do see, and I think that this is something that we will hear today a bit, that the, the uh, perception of private equity is changing. And there is also a new, um, new generation of entrepreneurs uh, growing up who are seeing private equity representing totally different opportunities set for them to grow internationally, to grow their company and, and expand uh, in the new markets. And indeed we're here in Berlin which is viewed as the sort of startup city in Germany, isn't it? It is, it is and and I think that that is one of the great exciting um, trends in Germany over the few uh, last years um, actually has taken off really after the after the crisis that the German um, entrepreneurship has really taken, taken a um, next step, and, and we have seen a great venture, venture stories uh, starting to emerge in, in German, German market, and um, basically the innovation uh, has really started to play a different role in, in, in German, German private equity scene as well. And you think that those go hand in hand, it's changing the image, if you like, of private equity a bit, that as well, because they haven't been viewed as the kindest people in the past in Germany particularly, have they? So. It, it is, but I, I and I, I think that it, it is so. But I think that for also for a reason, um, often these, especially when thinking of buyout companies that are um, or buyout um, targeted companies that are owned by entrepreneurs, these are entrepreneurs themselves, and it's hard for them to accept someone to to become as a financial financial investor. And I think that also for the for the buyout managers, there is a there is a next step is to really to to be able to position their value add to these companies representing something more than only money to be able to bring more to the table to help the companies to, to conquer new markets. Value added. Value like. add. uh, it, and that is something that, that there is also the, the challenge and opportunity for the, for the uh, private equity in this market. You said opportunity there. What do you think the opportunities are over the next 12 months specifically and what concerns do you have as well during that time? I think that the concerns uh, are the same than, than um, in the, when, when looking at the other markets as well and that's of course that the, the acquisition um, uh, prices are, are increasing. We, we are still uh, in Europe at lower level than in, in, in US, but we are catching up very quickly. Also at the same time, um, leverage levels are increasing, uh, especially in the lower end of the market. I'm not uh, too concerned about that because I simply see that the, the managers continue to be quite quite conservative, quite prudent in that respect. But the valuations is, is more of a, I think that that is the challenge. How to find these opportunities or how to create your own opportunities that, that are not uh, fully priced. What is it about this conference that you specifically like? 
this is a very good good snapshot of, of what's happening in the in the industry at the moment this is a, a great opportunity to to uh, meet and, and speak with a, with a number of industry participants and hear what uh, what's happening in the in in the in the uh, markets today and of course this is in in Berlin and this is our our um, backyard in 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 German market is in our backyard so we, we like to we like to really to to hear and, and get the pools from from this from this um, industry that is very uh, this conference that is well, very well uh, visited by the by the German. Um, uh, private equity players and investors. You genuinely hope to take unique insights away with you from here. Absolutely, absolutely, and I think that it comes from the from the number of discussions with the number of people, and at the end of the time, uh, end of the day, you you will get a get a view of what's happening in the in the industry at, at the moment and, and what are the what are the what are uh, the players expecting from the market in in the course of 2015. Karina, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much.